And coronavirus is also having a big impact on families. No school, some parents laid off, some parents still working, but their children at home. For people classified as essential personnel, there may be some help for that last one. Beginning Monday, the United Way of Abilene and several local agencies will help with child care. KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez has more on what that program will look like and how parents can get in on it. For essential personnel, staying home during the COVID-19 pandemic isn't an option. So the United Way is working with the Alliance for Women and Children, the YMCA, and the Boys and Girls Club of Abilene to provide care for their kids. For eight weeks starting on March 30th, roughly 1,200 children will be spread among Bonham, Jackson, and Martinez Elementary Schools for care. Here at Martinez Elementary is where the Boys and Girls Club will be. Director Mark Young tells me that the groups here will be just like the others. No more than 10 people to a group and they'll rotate through different activities throughout the day. Young says with no kids around, the feeling at the club has been depressing. <laughs> so, but his staff is looking forward to providing families with some normalcy during this uncertain time. Back to being around kids and serving kids and helping those families. So who qualifies for child care? Obviously medical personnel, city employees, county employees, state employees. Now it will ultimately be up to the agencies and the United Way to decide. But Young says it never hurts to apply. But it's a pretty broad net. So I said, you know, fill out the application. It's going to take you five minutes. And even the Boys and Girls Club is taking applications to meet the needs of families selected for care. All my employees are, are going to work, plus we're going to be starting hiring on Monday. And so if somebody's interested in this, they can come and apply Monday from 10 to 4 here at the, at the, at the Lee Club. It's all part of a citywide effort to provide relief as we all hang in there. We want to work together. We want to make this happen, take care of our people. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Take care of our people. Thank you, Mercedes. The application goes live next Monday, March 23rd on the United Way's website, as well as Alliance for Women and Children, Boys and Girls Club, and YMCA.